Thank you. Quick, Thank you. Um, just real quick, what's the level of concern uh, about the growing influence of China around the world? Then? Well, we've been uh, certainly mindful that China has tried to expand their influence uh, um, uh, all around the world, Middle East, uh, in Africa, in Latin America. Uh, they can speak to their foreign policy goals uh, uh, should they wish to. Um, I can only speak to ours. Um, and our goals are not about countering or or, or being a block or an obstacle. There's no effort to contain here. It's about advancing what President Biden believes are the appropriate foreign policy goals for this country, for the American people, and for the best interests of our allies and partners. And again, I'll go back to what I said before. Uh, no other nation in the world, none, has the uh, network of alliances and partnerships that the United States does, has, has as many friends around the world as the United States does, who are interested in pursuing the same goals. Secretary Austin just a week or so ago held the 10th Ukraine Defense Contact Group, more than 50 nations, again more than 50 nations at each and every one. And those are voluntary participation uh, events. It's not like we're browbeating people to show up to uh, agree to contribute to Ukraine. That's, that's the power of American convening leadership. And you don't see that power out of either Russia or China. These are two countries who do not have that same network of friends and partners. And one of the reasons why that relation, sorry, that they're really, he got me all, he got, he got me, no, 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 he, he got me all lathered up. Well, he got me all lathered up now. But one of the reasons why you're seeing that, that tightening relationship is because they recognize uh, that they don't have uh, that strong foundation of international support for what they're trying to do, which is basically challenge American leadership around the world. All right, last, last question.